So last month, Google released Veo3, and I just used it to fully automate AI real estate content across every social media platform. And after this video, you'll know exactly how to use it for yourself. This Veo3 automation can create daily short form videos with voiceovers, scene transitions, music, and even on-screen texts, saving you at least four hours every single week. And it's hands down one of the highest ROI activities that you can do to start using AI in real estate or in your marketing without having a full production team on hand. This system pulls fresh video ideas straight from a Google Sheet, writes fully optimized Veo prompts using an AI agent, generates your entire video in about three to five minutes, and then uses AI to write captions for Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook, ready to post or schedule right on the spot. And if you're like most people who know they should be posting more, but either don't have time or just hate being on camera, then this is literally built for you. And if you're new around here, my name is Mike. I've spent the last two years building AI agents, training LLMs for large companies, and helping business owners and people in real estate by creating systems that earn your time back and grow your brand. So if you want to stay consistent with content without burning out, then stick around because I'm going to give you this full system completely for free. So let's not waste any time and dive straight into how this all works. All right, so I'm actually really excited to show you this one. I had a lot of fun putting this together and not to spoil things too much, but I was really impressed by the output of this system. And once again, if you're actually interested in using this exact system for yourself, then go ahead and head into the resources section in my description. You'll be able to download this entire AI social media content system completely for free. In a few moments, I'm actually going to jump into a demo of this system so you guys can see exactly what this looks like in action. And of course, I'll show you a couple of these super cool AI videos that I'm sure you guys are dying to see. One thing anyone can do this summer to boost your home's vibe, add a little green. Cheap, easy, and it makes every room feel alive. Here's my number one secret for mastering showings and making a lasting impression. Engage the senses. And with that, let's say it's about time that we try the system out. I have it hooked up to this custom Google Sheet that I set up where I'll be able to import custom video ideas into this column. I could either write them up myself or connect a separate automation to actually generate these with AI. With that said, I just inputted this video concept that you see on screen into my ideas column. And I'm going to be pretending that I'm creating a bit of real estate content about one simple trick that anybody can do to spruce up their home this summer. Now that we've got our idea down, let's come over here and actually activate this workflow and I'll kind of talk you through what's happening here. So this is all going to be going on in the background and you're not necessarily necessarily going to see any of this happen. All right, so now that our workflow is actually done, we can head over to our Google Sheet and we can see that this entire row right here has been completely filled out with all of our captions and the video status has been updated to created. Now, before we read the captions, let's also head over to Drive. Now, here's the part that you've all been waiting for. Our brand new video has just been dropped in here and let me actually play that for you. One thing anyone can do this summer to boost your home's vibe, add a little green. Cheap, easy, and it makes every room feel alive. So I hope you're all enjoying the video so far. And I just wanted to jump on and say that if you're actually serious about getting AI to work for you and you happen to own a business or you're in real estate, go ahead and hit my first link down in the description and I'll actually make you a custom AI action plan just for you. And I'll get that sent out to you completely for free. Otherwise, if you're curious about working with me, then go ahead and hit my second link down below and we'll have a one-on-one -on -one chat to see what AI can do for your business. And with that, let's get straight back into the video. So I don't know about you guys, but I just think that this is super cool that we're even able to do something like this. We literally generated this video out of thin air and we have this entire scene set up for us, along with a custom script, real camera movement. We even have some text on screen that Veo was able to put up there so that we can plug in some custom promotion for this real estate agent. Now the text isn't perfect, and there are a few flaws that you could potentially complain about here, but in reality, this technology is only going to get better. And if you really think ahead to six months to a year down the line, the system is really gonna be incredible. But to be honest, I am pretty impressed with this result right now. And because this is so fun, let me actually throw another video on screen that I made just to show you guys some of the other stuff I've been playing around with. Here's my number one secret for mastering showings and making a lasting impression engage the senses. So again, while none of this is perfect, and I just really like to nerd out on this stuff sometimes and just admire how advanced this technology is becoming. But of course, that's not all we were able to create out of this. As I said before, we also were able to create an Instagram caption, a LinkedIn caption, and a Facebook caption custom for this particular video. And I'm just going to zoom in here and click through these really quick. You guys can pause the video and read through them if you want to. Each of these little captions are optimized for each of these social media platforms, and they're also directly in line with that video that we just created. And I literally got all of this done within about three minutes. And if you guys are as impressed with this as I am, then go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of the video has been so far. And of course, you could really train this system to actually be able to write in your style, in your voice, to write as if it were you. And if you really wanted to get fancy, you could come in here and actually, instead of having a generic avatar, you could upload a picture of your face and actually have a guy like this walking through a house, but it's actually a likeness of you as opposed to some randomly generated character. Now, before I start rambling about how much fun I'm having with this system, let me actually show you how all of this works. I'm going to break this down into an easy five-step process. 
And if you want to follow along or start using this for yourself, you can go ahead down into my description in the resources and pick up this entire system completely for free. So with that said, let's get right into it. All right, so let's make this process as easy and painless as possible. So let's just dive into phase one, which is going to be scheduling this content and connecting to our idea sheet. So now if we take a look at our workflow, we can actually zoom in on what's triggering this and how some of this stuff is working behind the scenes. As I said before, one of the best ways to use this is to actually supplement rather than replace your content with it. So in this case, I just have it to trigger every two days at 11 a.m. So this just means that the whole system is going to be coming to life at this time every two days in order to actually create your videos and get them ready to post. Now, in order to fetch those new ideas, I'm actually using a Google Sheet, which is exactly what you guys saw here. I connected my workflow to this sheet to actually pull the ideas from this first column in order to feed into our AI system. And that's essentially all that's going on right here. On the right hand side, you can see all of the ideas that we actually pulled and sort of what that's going to end up looking like. Now, once you create a Google Sheet for this and actually set it up the way that I have by having an ideas category, as well as a place to import all of the captions once the AI system is actually finished generating them, then we'll actually be able to cross off step number one. Then we can actually move on to phase two, which is actually to filter for new ideas. Now, because all of these ideas are collecting in the same place, you're probably not going to want to be pulling them every time. Whenever you enter a new idea in this video idea category, this is the only thing that we're going to want to be pulling. Now, in order to do that, I've actually set up a filter right here to pull out any new content ideas. And the way that I'm doing this is I'm just filtering that last column right here, which is video status. And I'm checking if that video has actually been created or not. If it has been created, we're going to just disregard all of that information so that we can just focus on any new ideas that might be added. If the video status column is actually empty, then that means we have a new idea on our hands to work with. And therefore, we could pass that along to our AI agent to actually write a prompt for us and then generate that video with Veo and of course, write our captions for us. But again, there's not too much going on here and it's actually pretty simple. And with that, we could actually cross off phase two. And if you're still following along with these instructions, then go ahead and drop a thumbs up down below. Anyways, here's where things actually start to get fun. Now, as we dive into phase three, we're actually going to be building the master AI prompt agent that writes us custom Veo3 prompts in order to generate the highest quality videos possible. Now, because we're actually making short form content for real estate, I'm also taking that into account when I designed my prompt agent. Now, if we actually open this up, we'll be able to get a better idea of what's going on in here. And again, all of this is going to be available completely for free down below if you guys want to download this. So you don't have to worry about copying this huge prompt I'm about to show you because it'll all already be in the system. And speaking of prompts, let's actually open this system message up and take a look at what's going on behind the scenes. And as I said, this is actually going to be a pretty decent sized prompt here. And because I'm actually going to be giving this to you guys, I'm not going to go super in depth, but I will take you through a basic idea of what's going on here. Now I'll zoom in here so you guys can see this better. But in order to create this prompt, I actually collaborated with a custom AI assistant that I built for myself in order to write better prompts like this. And because of that, I was able to add way more detail and really optimize this prompt. But anyways, I've just instructed this agent right here to act as a highly creative and persuasive social media strategist. And I've also given it some details about who it's working for, which which in this case is Mark Reeves, which is a fictional real estate agent working for the Sunset Group. I've also made sure to detail that his job is to create professional grade prompts specifically for Veo3. And our goal here is actually to help Mark Reeves promote himself, to increase brand awareness, to generate leads, and to also establish Mark as an expert within the real estate market. As for our context, I've just explained a little bit more about what Mark's role is within the Sunset Group, as well as his goal of creating short form content for Instagram, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And this is also an important place to include anything that you want to make sure you touch on, like creating real estate content with home tips, market insights, showcasing properties, and anything else that might be relevant to your case for actually generating this content. And beneath that, I've actually included a variable that contains the video concept for the agent to reference as it's writing this prompt. And you can see a preview of that down here, which if you'll remember back to our demo is a direct copy of the video idea I inputted into our Google Sheet. Now, after that, we actually have the task, which I've broken down into a series of steps. So there's quite a few things going on here that I wanted to make sure the agent understood. But essentially, I'm just having the agent analyze the user's video concept, then move on and create a vivid, relevant scene description for whatever that setting happens to be, and then come up with a character, which in this case is Mark Reeves, or is supposed to represent him, and also describe any actions that are happening within the scene. Now, on top of that, we're also going to be having custom dialogue, of course, which is going to be relevant to this piece of short form content. And then finally, I'm also including some camera movement and direction instructions, as well as some on-screen text to actually help Mark promote himself as an expert within the real estate field. And lastly, I've actually included an example output to sort of train the agent on what, what I'm actually looking for here. And this is the part that's actually helping us optimize the prompt just for Veo3. What you see here is I'm actually matching a concept, which is a sample of what the agent might be able to pull from our idea base. And I'm matching that with a final output prompt here, which in case you guys aren't familiar, this exact format here is what's currently ideal for Veo3's output. So all of these sections here, the language, 
the approach, the length, all of this will give the agent a really strong guideline to base its entire prompt off of and to create the best structure that it can in order to specifically get the best results out of Veo. But aside from that, there isn't too much going on with this agent. I've connected it up to an AI chat model as well as a think step. And it won't always use this, but I just included this in order to give the agent a little bit of space to play around with if it needs to process a more complex prompt. This mostly acts as a fallback, so you won't be using it too often. But again, this is just something that's neat to have and it can really help iron out your workflow. All right, so now that we've actually completed phase three and built that map master prompt agent. Let's move on to phase four, which is actually going to have two parts. Now, first up, we're actually going to be connecting directly to Veo and retrieving that video once it's done generating. So let's focus on this one first. So we're actually going to be focusing on this upper pathway first, and I've actually pinned some data in a couple of these nodes just for demonstration purposes. Now for Veo 3, I'm actually connecting through a service called Fall AI, which looks a little something like this if you guys aren't familiar. You can access Veo 3's API directly through Google, but it adds a couple of extra steps that just make things a little bit more complicated than they need to be. So so because of this, we can actually come into Fall, set up our API connection, and actually use Veo directly through them. Now, this is what's going on in my HTTP request, which is what I'm using here. And again, you guys don't have to worry too much about what's going on in here. All of this will be also available in that free template I'm giving you, so no need to configure all of this. What I will tell you, though, is that you need to come in here under header auth and actually set up your credential for Fall AI. So all you need to do is essentially go in there, paste in your API key, and then you should be good to go. Aside from that, I'm just importing the prompt right here from our Veo3 prompt master agent in order to pass on to Veo to actually produce this video. And when you guys actually run this for yourself, you're going to want to delete this data right here and actually generate your own. I've just added this just for testing purposes in order to help me get this set up. But again, make sure that you just come in and get rid of that. Now after that, here's how we're going to process that video. I've actually set up a wait node right here that's going to be waiting 60 seconds and checking back in fall to see if our video is ready. After 60 seconds, we're going to be coming back into fall with another HTTP request. And I'm actually going to be pulling in that URL to actually check what its status is. And again, you guys are going to want to delete all of this information, but the concept is the same. You're going to simply pull your URL in and then pull the data that actually contains our video status. Now, lastly, every 60 seconds, we're going to be checking if that video is actually done. And under this if node, we're going to be passing in that video status from that previous HTTP node to see if it's equal to succeeded. And succeeded is actually the status that it is at the time of me filming this video. But when you guys are actually running this, you could go in and check if this is different just so that you're looking for the right condition here to make sure your video is actually finished. Now, if our video is not done, we'll actually route that back to wait another 60 seconds then the system will check all over again. And usually we might have to go through this a couple of times in order to get our video, because again, it could take anywhere from three to five minutes to fully generate that video. Once we've gone through that loop a couple of times and we've been able to pull our completed video, this if node will come out to true, which means we'll be able to save that video to our Google Drive. Now this node is just gonna be pulling our video file out. And finally, we'll be able to choose exactly where we're storing that video. Now lastly, because we've actually finished this part of the workflow, we're gonna make sure that we come back into our sheets and actually update this final column for our video status. Now in order to do this, I've actually hooked this up to my Google Sheet under my category Veo Socials, and I'm going to be matching categories by their row number. And from there, we're simply going to just be updating our video status as created, which I've just manually typed in here in order to tell the system exactly how I want to update everything. But this is relatively simple to get set up. All you need to do is just connect to your sheet and make sure all of these settings are all set to go. All right, so that's part one of phase four. And now that we've actually connected to Veo and been able to retrieve that video, we could actually move on to part two of phase four, which is to build our AI caption writing system. Now, in order to do this, I actually have three AI steps going on here. One is to write Instagram captions, one is to write LinkedIn captions, and the third is to write Facebook captions. Now each of these are going to be operating in pretty much the same way. I've just given the system our video ideas and then created this custom prompt for it, along with an example post optimized for each social media platform. Now this particular one is for Instagram. Now along with this, I've also included that video subject from our filter step, along with our video outline from our prompt agent. And as you can see, you could preview both of these on the right hand side here, just to see what this AI step is able to read for this in order to get context for this caption. Now again, all of these prompts are going to be available for you guys if you download my free template, so you don't have to worry about getting too deep into how all of this works here. But I've set this up in essentially the same way for my LinkedIn and my Facebook systems. But as you'll notice, if you go through these prompts, there are slight differences with the way that they're worded and with the actual examples that I'm feeding into it in order to actually optimize for each social media platform. This is really one of the keys here with this system is that you can really automate a lot of the optimization and background steps that actually allow you to create cross-platform content while drastically cutting the time down that it actually takes you to get that out. And as I said before, you can always come in here to each one of these and actually optimize it for your own use case. So you could come down here to this example right here and change it out for something that you wrote yourself 
And in the end, that's gonna give us all three of these captions right here that are just ready to go for each of our social medias. So this is pretty straightforward. There's not too much to actually go through here. This final step is actually gonna be what's uploading our captions into our Google Sheet. So I've just hooked this step up to my Veil Socials Google Sheet, matched it by row number, just like we did before. And then under each of these caption categories, I've just dragged and dropped the variables from each of those AI steps into the proper categories. And what this is gonna do is it's automatically gonna take the output from each of those AI steps and then drop it directly into our Google Sheet here so that all of this is just ready to go for us. Meanwhile, the video status will be updated to created, and then we'll be able to come into our Google Drive as well and just pick up that video as soon as it's done generating. So that actually takes care of both of our steps for phase four, but interestingly, it also takes care of both of our steps for phase five because these were both the final steps that I discussed on the back end of phase four. We managed to save the video to our drive and update the status and sheets, and then we also save those captions to our sheets just to prepare everything for posting. And then from there, on the back end of these Google Sheet steps on the end, you can actually hook this up to something like buffer and import all of these captions and the video content and then schedule them to post on your social media platforms for you on complete autopilot. But for now, I just kind of wanted to jump on and show you guys what it's like to actually work with Veo by generating custom prompts based off of ideas in a Google Sheet, writing custom captions for that short form video content, and then just getting that organized to actually prepare and post it. In reality, there are so many automations that you can build off the back end of this to really maximize your content approach and really fine tune your strategy here. And I had a lot of fun building this. So if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I really appreciate you for watching. And just to throw it out there, if you're in real estate or you actually own a business and you're curious about AI, but you're not quite sure where to start, you can go ahead and hit my first link down in the description and I'll create you a custom AI action plan just for you. And I'll get that sent out completely for free. Otherwise, if you want to build this exact system out a bit further, or if you have any specific ideas that you might want to build out for your business, then you can go ahead and hit my second link and actually book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me so we can actually work together to help out with your AI strategy. And with that, that about wraps up this video. Be sure to let me know down in the comments what your favorite part of this video was and be sure to drop any questions down there as well. And once again, I appreciate you guys for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.